Ranking up in Halo Infinite is often frustrating. It's not clear what the rank system is actually rewarding. Is it rewarding playing the objective, winning, KD ratio? I use statistics and machine learning to get to the bottom of this and find out how to maximize your rank. The results may surprise you. I went to halotracker.com and gathered player data for all ranked players in the solo duo controller playlist. That's 112,401 players. The rank distributions provided by 343 and Halo Tracker are very similar, meaning my data is a very good representation of the player base. They may look different, but that's mostly due to Onyx being separated into several tiers in the official distribution. Rank slash skill is represented by competitive skill rank or CSR. The higher the CSR, the higher skill level a player is. This chart translates CSR into a rank tier. 1500 plus CSR is Onyx and bronze is 0 to 299 CSR. These scatter plots show player stats in relation to their CSR. Each dot represents a player. The y-axis is CSR, while the x-axis is a different player stat for each plot. R is the correlation coefficient, and M is the median. A correlation coefficient is a value between negative 1 and 1, which measures the relationship strength between two variables. The further the correlation coefficient is from zero, the stronger the relationship between the stat and CSR. A correlation coefficient of zero indicates no relationship, while a value more than zero and less than zero is respectively a positive and negative correlation. For example, time spent running and number of calorie burned has a strong positive correlation. Time spent running and body fat percentage has a strong negative correlation. Shoe size and the number of movies watched has no correlation. Here's a table to interpret the correlation coefficient strengths. The interpretations are just a general rule of thumb. I found the correlations between CSR and different player stats to gain insight on Halo Infinite's ranked system. The more matches you play, the higher your CSR tends to be, but winning more of those matches doesn't influence CSR. That's right, winning matches isn't correlated with CSR. Looking at the left half of the win percentage scatter plot, you can see that many Onyx players, 1500 plus CSR, and above have win percentages just above 40%. It is worrying to see many players at the highest rank lose more than they are winning. For this next section, you need to know what non-objective score and objective score is. Non-objective score is gained from kills, assists, and call assists. Objective score is gained from capturing flags, capturing strongholds, holding the oddball, etc. The sum of non-objective and objective scores make your total score. The higher your non-objective score is per match, the higher your CSR will be. The higher your objective score is per match, the lower your CSR tends to be though. That's right, players with high CSRs tend to play the objective less. Since non-objective score has a strong correlation, let's look at the attributes it is comprised of, kills, assists, and callout assists. The more kills and assists you have per match, the higher your CSR tends to be. Kills have a stronger effect than assists do on your CSR. Callout assists barely influence your CSR though. Interestingly, the more deaths per match you have, the higher your CSR tends to be as well. I doubt the system rewards dying more, but that players who die more tend to get more kills. Based on these correlations, it seems that kills and assists are rewarded while deaths do not seem to grant a penalty. Since there are several stats strongly correlated with CSR, I created machine learning models to predict a player's CSR based on their stats, and to show which of these stats are most important. The first model, comprised of all ranked controller players, has a 40.83% error. A 40% error means that the model predicts player CSR within 40% of their actual CSR. 40.83% sounds high, but is much smaller than the baseline error of 76.03%. Baseline error is obtained by using the median CSR for every guess. The model has kills per match as its primary factor and number of matches played as its secondary factor. In other words, the more matches you play and the more kills you have for each of those matches, the higher your CSR will be. To limit the influence of matches played, I also created a model comprising of only players who have played at least 100 matches. Kills per match remain the only primary factor with an error of 3.86%. Just by looking at the graph, you can see that kills per match is much more important than any other stat. All the other stats combined do not even come close to how important kills per match is. Kills per match is clearly the most important factor in determining CSR, by far. 
The more matches you play, the more important kills become when determining CSR. Even though objective points are negatively correlated with CSR, it's highly unlikely that the system punishes playing the objective. It's likely that players who play the objective sacrifice kills to do so. Losing out on kills to play at the objective is a very bad trade-off in the system, since for most players, objective score only makes up 14.72% of their total scores. A player would have to get a lot of objective points to make up for a single kill. Getting kills is also much faster than getting points from objectives. I also created a model with players who have played at least 100 matches and using kills per match as its only predictor. Comment below if the plot accurately predicts your CSR based on your kills per match. Keep in mind that this model is more accurate the more matches you play until reaching 100 matches. In conclusion, Halo Infinite's ranking system rewards maximizing kills even at the expense of playing the objective, dying, and even winning. Based on the data and analysis, if you really want a high rank, you should focus solely on getting kills. 343 needs a serious overhaul of its rank system because it promotes and rewards selfish play. Like this video if you learned anything and comment below what else you want me to analyze. I am sitting on all this data I collected and don't want it to go to waste. I'm already in the middle of analyzing controller versus mouse and keyboard players in ranked crossplay, so subscribe to be notified when that comes out. Share this video so 343 knows to fix their flawed rank system, and I'll see you in the next video.